Okay, so today we're going to make keto-friendly garlic bread because we are having barbecue and it, it's sad that we can't have bread with it. So we're going to make some. We are going to start with all the dry ingredients, three-fourths of a cup of almond flour. We have uh, garlic, salt, and oregano in here. Just going to dump it. A teaspoon of baking powder and a cup and a half of mozzarella. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to stir it all together so it's incorporated. And then we are going to add two ounces of cream cheese and stir that together as well. And then microwave it for 45 seconds. Okay, so this is after 45 seconds. What we're gonna do now is we are just going to Find the whisk and kind of mix it all up. So it just needs to be incorporated together. Then we're gonna put it back in for another 20 seconds. It's been another 25 seconds. I'm gonna crack one egg into it and then stir it all together. So this just needs to go, I'm gonna stir it for a few minutes. It needs to kind of just be pretty thick actually. But it already smells really good. It smells like garlic, so I'm super excited to taste. Mm. Completely mixed in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of plop it. It is gonna be super sticky, everybody. So if it's super sticky, that's okay. You can put some olive oil on your hands. Yes. To make it a little better. So, and then because these are gonna be garlic knots, just not bread, we are going to cut them into eight different pieces. And I'm using parchment paper, but if you had one of the silicone like baking sheets, that would even be better than this, but I don't. So you work with what you got. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think stop it. So they have kind of sat here just for a few minutes, not long at all. They're still warm. I did put olive oil on my hand so that it's a little bit easier to, um, to do this, but I'm just going to kind of shape them into nine inch long logs. logs. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. I couldn't think of the word. So, and then we're gonna put them into the knot rolls. Now we're just gonna form them into knots, which mine are not beautiful <laughs> at all <laughs> because uh, I'm not a freaking chef. I'm just trying to survive keto right now. But they're gonna taste amazing, hopefully. Right, so, so we are just making these into the cute little knots that they are. They are turning out super cute. I'm excited about that. And then they bake in an oven for 350, or sorry, 375 for 15 to 20 minutes, I yes. believe. And there's our little keto garlic knots. Can't wait to see what they look like when they come out. Okay, so we only have about a minute and a half left. So now we're going to one tablespoon of butter and some minced garlic. We're just gonna heat this up and then we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese and this goes on top of the keto friendly garlic. We melted the garlic and butter and we put some Parmesan in there. It looks delicious. These have come out of the oven and they turned out super cute. And so we are just going to kind of put some of this on there and let it melt for a few minutes and then we will enjoy. But they look delicious. Okay, so they are out of the oven. They have had the mm. garlic and Parmesan and first taster. Mm. So They're good. so good. Do they have a good consistency? That's yes. what I was worried about. It's they just actually like, rose really well with the almond. I guess it's the baking powder that did it, but awesome! So keto friendly right here. That's good. Hudson, <laughs> Hudson, you take a bite and tell her what you think. Is it good? You like it? Yeah, I like it. Thumbs up. Approved. Yeah. 